What's going on? It's the Geek Speak Show at San Diego Comic Con 20. What is it? Year? 2023. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't yeah, had so my coffee. Now. It's Saturday. <laughs> if you're not here, you're going to experience it through us. First of all, let me have you guys introduce yourself, let everybody know who you are. I am Des Taylor. And I'm Jordan Gwen Colton. Yeah, and Des actually, he wrote this book here, Scarlet Couture. Jordan is bringing her to life, so we'll, we'll get the story on that. So first, Des, talk, talk a little bit about what, what the story is about. Well, God, you put me on the spot. It's uh, early in the morning. I'm here suffering from a cold, but yeah, I'll okay. try and get into it. Um, basically, so like a hot spy story in which uh, the main villain of the piece are the, is the, the global bank, um, you know, the whole global bank thing. Um, I wanted to do that. Because you know, usually in most comic books, you know the villain is very much I don't know what's the word villainous. A villainous, you know, or, or you know they're usually like uh, part of a cartel or they're part. You know, I just wanted to know, like the big problem is um, with the banking uh, system is they're never held accountable for anything. You know, they use billions of dollars and nobody knows what's happening with the money and what yeah. stuff. So Scarlet's this character that um, uh, her whole persona is she wants to bring the guys at the top to justice. And you know, like, uh, there's all the protocols that you have in intelligence agencies and stuff in which you're only allowed to do a certain thing. You know, I just want you to uh, gather information on them and then that's it. Uh, well, Scarlett's not like that. She wants to take it to the next level and bring these guys down. The whole fashion thing um, came from a moment years ago well, I was at a fashion party and um, <laughs> I was sitting down uh, and watching there was a famous footballer who played for Chelsea at the time Joe Cole um, and he walked into this bar and uh, security weren't letting any guys near him so like, all of the fans were just like yeah but you know he went to VIP they wouldn't let any guys near him. but then all the girls started coming and then the security just like, here you go. In my crazy mind, I'm sitting down there, I'm going, what if he was a villain or, you know, yeah. and somebody needed to get a microphone on him to keep tabs on him. That would be the perfect thing. And then I just left the, I left the party and I went and I just started writing the whole thing. So. And by the way, for those of you on this side of the pond, when he says football, he means oh, soccer. God, I don't mean <laughs> soccer, I mean football. Yeah, God, we were just talking about pot. that before we started. God, suck. I apologize. <laughs> Here's the question, though. When you created Scarlet, was it before you met Jordan, or was she in the Oh, yeah, before. Already? Before. Yeah. Uh, way before, and um, I don't know how I roped you into this. Yeah, how'd you find that about Jordan? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a story. Um, I feel like I have to start from the no, beginning. No, go on, go on. Okay. Um, uh, so uh, this was back when when MySpace was still the the prominent social media platform, and I think I was like 19 at the time, and I came across your art page. Yeah, yeah. I came across. He has another character called Katie Rogers, oh, and oh, yes, yes. I I've always been a fan of illustrations and comics, and I saw this art and I really liked it. And so I must have sent you a message or followed you or something. Yeah, you sent me a message. Um, I actually remember the moment. Uh, I was in the morning, I was having my coffee, you know, rubbing your eyes, and then I've got this message over the computer, and then obviously you popped up. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's my favorite Jesus. part. But wait, wait, what, what do you call it though? In my, it's sliding in your DM still in MySpace? Oh, or what do you what call, call it now? <laughs> no, not, 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 not quite that, that type <laughs> yeah. of, of communication, but it was, I remember the line in the message where he said, I, I, I spat my tea out on my computer. <laughs> you look exactly like my character, Katie Rogers. And so we just became friends. And yeah. I've always really admired his art and his style. And he's just a fantastic person. And um, <laughs> he's all right. He's all right. I like him. <laughs> and, uh, and his family's great. And so from there, we just we developed a friendship and a, an appreciation of his art. And then for about six years, I was traveling the world extensively, doing rock climbing and scuba diving. And I was very uh, active. It, yeah in different types of martial arts and um, I'm fairly active on social media so I was putting them out there and Des was like, hold on a tick. <laughs> There's the muse that I need. So I was uh, pr providing a lot of oh, what, inspiration, action yeah, shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and inspiration stuff, yeah. as it were. Yeah. And, um, and then a few years ago, um, 
we did this photo shoot, and uh, I think it's just kind of taken on off since there. Yeah. Oh yeah, Chris is actually here, the the photographer. Oh, yeah. This was not planned whatsoever. He was just no. like, oh, I'm coming to, to, to Vegas. Do you know what? Now you're here yes. <laughs> to do a photo shoot. Yeah. I mean, even that gun uh, on, on the front cover, obviously we couldn't get like a real rifle. We had a toy gun. And yeah, we superimposed that at the end. It was just like so last minute, it was unbelievable. But the lighting was perfect. We were all there. It was just like when, when all good things come together at the moment, yeah. it was one of those moments. And here we are. Yeah. So, I mean, this is the first one. Do you have any bigger plans other than just the comic book for it? All right, so the first series I did way back in 2015, uh, when Scarlet had red hair. Um, I literally, I did that just for fun. I wasn't totally, uh, uh, you know, I, I didn't know much about the comic game. I just knew I just wanted to do a comic book. Yeah. And um, I was really surprised at the, the feedback and how many people bought it and all the good stuff. And I was like, oh, wow. So let me do another one. And um, Titan, in fact, was supposed to publish this, but, but this was before COVID. Can you say COVID over here? Yeah. Yeah? All right, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the splurge, right? So yeah, it was before uh, COVID, and um, obviously all the plans went downhill from then. Uh, and then I met up with a crowdfund funding company. I crowdfunded it, smashed out the park. It was fully um, financed within 48 hours. So I did that, and then Titan came back to me, and they said, "Yeah, are you ready to do to do it with us again?" So yeah, and now Nick, wherever he is. He's now gone on to me and he's like, oh, you do know you can't just leave it at two. You've got to do three. Yeah. So now I'm just sitting down constantly trying to think of storyline for what would be the final, the final part. Well, because I'm thinking it's it could be there. animation or live, live action because there's just star right there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> live action. Uh, I, I actually have a treatment for a TV show, um, like the opening, the first two seasons. So I've written like an idea, but you know, if anybody picks it up, you know, they're just gonna do their own. Hint, well, hint, if anybody picks it up. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know if you've heard, they're kind of looking for new stuff right now. Oh, okay, uh, so if you're looking for new stuff, yeah, pop over to Titan. <laughs> so, really so, so go ahead, uh, start with, you. Give it, tell them, give them the websites, everything where they can get, where they can get it other than here, obviously. Uh, so all right, primarily we should say that they can get it from uh, Forbidden Planets, because that's part of Titan Comics. Yeah. Uh, or you can grab a issue or two from me. I'm on despopart.com. And uh, Jordy, she's going to have a stack of her own stuff. So Yeah, just over here. So um, Jordy, give, give them your, all your socials, everything. Yeah. Oh, uh, my main one will be on Instagram. It's at Jordan Colton. Pretty simple. <laughs> I'll put everything right here for you guys. Right. Make it easy for you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Thank you. Thank you Thanks so, so much. much. Cheers. Hey, it was nice Thank to you. Out. Thank you.